Hi everyone, this is part two to our breakdown of the Call of Duty Ghost game and the campaign which shows the USA betrayed and literally destroyed and then rising up to fight World War III. Now in here, most of this is going by the Bible through here. Even the father's name being Elias has symbolism of the time of after the rapture and then when it's all in the book of Kings right here in the second book of Kings you have Elijah and then you have Elisha right here Elias is even one of the names of these two many times he has been associated with Elijah and with Elisha all of those three names have been mingled together before well in this second book of Kings Elijah is raptured in a whirlwind see Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind just as a rapture and then Elisha has to basically go to war literally he goes to war and sets a big trap to help Israel this is the same thing that's going on in the Bible now at the end of days when we are all raptured or a rapture event during the great betrayal and then we will have a great world war coming upon the earth exactly as we're showing in this this game right here it's going right by the Bible as you will well let's take a look at this trailer of the Odin strike and watch all of the names there we're gonna show that the Baker and Kira and even Mosley is all involved and shown to us I will show the evidence right over in England that coordinates right with this movie and the time of the rapture then World War three starting so let's all check out this trailer or excuse me this event with the Odin strike satellite nuking or it shoots kinetic rods and then the rods will you know explode the earth practically and you can see that they're aiming right at the southwest corner of the USA down near California down near the Salton Sea area and right near San Diego warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable it could only be described as supernatural he called them ghosts and this really happened so the legend goes come on dad you don't honestly believe that story is true yeah I do come on let's head back to the house Let's go. Shake a leg. Oh, a little tremor there. <laughs> Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. Another one? Yeah, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. Wind's starting to pick up, too. Let's just get to the house. Make sure nothing got damaged. Dad, what's happening? It's over. It's over. To the house, boys. Now! Okay. 
Odin Control, the orbital weapons got a successful test fire ping. Roger, Mosley. Tracking weapon, dry fire signal. Hey, Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Payload, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debrief the new crew. Roger. We're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final docking sequence. Payload, 10 meters. Begin rotate. Five meters, payload. Two meters. Zero your rotation delta payload. Mosley, airlock C is ready for arrival. Capturing. Talk back is Barbara Pole. Begin retract. Pressurizing airlock. Oh, really looking forward to going home. What's it been? Three months? Halo, we have hard dock. And you're parked. Best friend. Hey, Baker, give me a hand with the unload. Payloads 3 and 4 have been aborted. But payload 2 is still sequencing. Targeting locked. San Francisco, Denver, Kansas City, Chicago, Washington, D.C. We're not done, Baker. Let's move to Odin and bring it down. I don't think we're making it home, Baker. Atlas main, how many degrees off access to destabilize it? 23 degrees port or aft. But remote RCS systems are not responding. 23 degrees.
23 degrees. That's it. That's enough to drop it into the atmosphere. Specialist Mosley. Kira. We have LOS with the crew of Odin Control. Repeat, loss of signal with Odin Control. Well, we could see there that that strike was going on against the USA. The USA had been betrayed, as in the Bible, when all of the world comes together to betray us, to go after their new world order, if you will. This is shown in the Denver International Airport all the time. Giant murals mapping out the end of days. Here is the USA on fire. And over here is the ten horns of the Bible, which could be ten kings, is what it says, and they all come together to betray the USA. And it's God's will that this happens in Revelation 17:17. 17, 17. Here is a very hard thing about this story right here. There are a couple of different Eli's in the Bible. There's Elijah, there's Elias, and there's Eli, who was like a judge. And he had two sons in the Bible. And there was a thing about this. It kind of represents the USA because they did not go according to Scripture perfectly and they drew the anger of God. In other words, the sons were just taking everything. Nothing bad about this here, but the USA, we cannot forget that the USA is not a, a perfect place pretty much a spoiled apple causing death and destruction all around the world and you can say what you want to deny this but obviously you have not walked down the street and seen your brothers and sisters confronted with you know just porn all day long and drugs and just adultery and just I mean whatever anybody wants to say the USA is flat out full of sin just as the rest of the world but Eli he got in trouble and he was told that since his sons did all of this that he was going to die and that he would basically be cursed for his sons to always die at an early age they wouldn't make it into elderly age and that Israel was going to fall it was his time to be in charge and he failed so everything was destroyed that is what's coming upon the USA here and then he rises back up. They all rise back up, just as Israel rose back up after that time. Well, there's the hard part for everybody to realize that the judgment that's coming upon the USA is justified. It's, it's all going according to Scripture perfectly. And everybody's preparing for this. The rich and elite are going over and digging their holes in the ground. Here is another chart. I break down these glyphs from all around the world. Everything is surrounded by Jesus Christ and this shows the end of days and many people wonder about a rapture and then what's known as the tribulation saints who have to go get their heads cut off well right here it shows the difference these people up here were taken away and raptured and they become like a shepherd a prince of peace and they even receive this little sheep or a little dog exactly as in call of duty ghosts they got a dog when they went ghost. See him right there? And then these guys have to lose their head and they become tribulation saints right here. There is the dog in the movie right there. It's all going according to plan. It, 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 just as with Israel after Eli messed up as a judge and his sons were just tearing everything apart that after Israel fell they rose back up later on you know they were forgiven God didn't didn't throw them completely away the same thing will happen here at the end all of this World War three will be to bring about the end of days now you kept hearing the name Mosley in there when they were doing their shuttle launch do you see the name right here Mosley this is England and I've shown how everything's mapped out for the end of days coming here is the dragon right there See the dragon? And then you can see this pyramid right here. And this represents in the Bible, Jesus says he will take us out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. See, we go out and on top. Underneath here is the dragon. And right on top is 
the shuttle right here loading up we are being taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and put into here and we go to the barn right there and then you get your dog you can go ghost if you will but all of this is right here in front of us and this is why even that name Mosley kept being shouted and this is why I wanted to show that this is how it's all right in front of us even the man's name of the baker we go now in the Bible from the time of where you know the earth is going along as it is and then the butcher comes like for the guillotines and everything is stoked seven times hotter upon the earth see the butcher there's no head on this giraffe that's him he's a tribulation saint now that's what he represents see the separation one raptured risen from the dead and a tribulation saint but I just wanted to show that all of this is right in front of us and it's going right by the Bible even here in 2 Kings Elijah is taken up in a whirlwind and then Elisha goes off to war right there just as we're showing right here that everything's going by scripture well thank you very much everybody confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all.